If I lived in Chengdu, I'd definitely have hot pot every day. Day two of our Chengdu trip. We had a nice sleep last night. What's better than a bowl of noodles for breakfast when it's like so cold out? You can eat this every day for breakfast. Hopefully it doesn't rain when we like go to visit the pandas. Of course, we're in Chengdu. And, and after that, we might just like visit this kind of hipster area with lots of art and then grab some nice dinner, maybe hot pot maybe just authentic Sichuan food. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you later at the Panda Base. We are checking in. It seems like most of the check-in places are like high up, kind of like Japanese hotels. So we're gonna go see our first panda somewhere here. This park is humongous. I think we'll spend at least two hours here just walking around. I see it! He's there! Okay, he's sleeping. You see him being lazy and all? Reminds me of Biscuit. Ew, it's their poop. Why do they like put the poop? We were able to see them like up close, just, you know, one window away. Like, I mean, one glass away. So that was really cool. And they're like so cute. Like they were like these two pandas. They were like playing with each other. Definitely do visit the panda breeding base if you're in Chengdu because it's worth it. So it's a 1.5 hours wait for the celebrity panda Hua Hua. So we're definitely not gonna wait for that. Why Hua Hua is so popular apparently is the most friendly and approachable panda. She will do like nice poses for tourists to take photos of and that's why she's so popular and loved by all the tourists and locals alike. Which postcard to buy because they're all so cute and it reminds me of how like we just saw the pandas always like with their back facing us. So accurate. It's only eight dollars so gonna buy some. So right now we're in a cab to go to Dongjiao Ji Yi which is like um, this hipster artsy outdoor space. here are so nice like even if you're not buying something they're still like greet you very nicely and like you know in Hong Kong if you don't buy something they'll probably give you some attitude
have that in Hong Kong, but look at how big it is here. Insane. I've never seen such a big one. It's even bigger than like the States. Definitely feels like Christmas in here. because it's so damn cold out there. Seems like there's a lot of butter, a lot of peppercorn, chili, garlic, spring onion. Not sure what the red jelly thing is. Might be a duck blood. But our first authentic Chengdu hot pot. I'm so excited. Mmm, look at that fat. Mmm, so good. But you might find it too spicy. Even the lime is so good. Oh my god. Mm. Never had a fish that's like so tender. Mm. That was really thick. Oh, the numbness is really kicking into my tongue. Wow, actually not stiff at all. Not what I would expect. And here she is, squeezing the noodles. Wow. Attracting some audience here. So this is the duck blood I ordered. But it doesn't break, but like, you know that's how you judge a good blood from a bad blood. It's like if you pick it up and it doesn't break. Mm. This is the land of spicy hot pot. I might want to eat hot pot every day. Guys, I've been missing out on like real Sichuan hot pot for 28 years of my life. If I lived in Chengdu, I'd definitely have hot pot every day. I think I'm in heaven. This is like definitely a 9.8 restaurant for me. And for me, that's like pretty hard. Like I've been only rating things like seven-ish, so I don't think anything can top this. But I mean, we still have a couple of days in Chengdu, so we'll see. Mm. Literally in heaven right now.
I am a big fan of like Chinese drama for those who don't know. So this is like really cool for me. So back then in ancient time, yeah, the concubines, they use these makeups is like in these containers. So this is like the perfume, like low perfume cream. And then they have like the blush and lipstick. Unreal, it's like back in ancient time. These are ancient time money. So damn heavy, that's how money weighs. It's probably a lot of money back then. is pretty high up, around the 30th floor. The amenities are pretty nice. They have JBL speakers, nice king size bed, a little sofa area, all the standards of it. International hotel chain, nice bathtub, just like Rudy needed. It's a budget requirement. And I love that they separate the toilet and the bathroom so that the other person can always use the other part of the toilet. So some complimentary gift. Oh, it's Majo and Panda Majo. I guess it's canopy. There's a canopy. So cute. Nice souvenir.